warm and the biggest one humid out there here today. We're going to continue with that tonight. It's 81 right now. A southeast wind 14 miles per hour. Everyone still in the mid to low 80s here. Six o'clock hour temperature field winds out of the southeast about 15 to 20 miles per hour and the radar is dry right now. We're not seeing anything uh, pop up with respect to shower or thunderstorm activity. We're going to have to pay attention to what's happening out west and uh, this this group of thunderstorms uh, would have been one to watch. Sometimes these will try to bend to the right or farther east, but if you look at the movement on these, they're starting to move uh, and gather more toward a northeasterly direction right into uh, the area that is classified the severe thunderstorm watch and that's all those pink shades. Those are outside of the K triple I viewing area. There is still a chance that some of this activity can fire up and move our direction, but the big group of storms northwest of Laredo is going to move right into where uh, that enhanced risk for severe weather is between Del Rio and San Antonio. It looks like again, that's where the best storm potential is going to be. We've got this stalled front up there. Uh, so we'll have a zone of activity in that area and then that other area off the Sierra Madres where the storms currently are uh, look to be the best two locations for strong to severe thunderstorms. Uh, this front is going to stay where it is tonight. We won't see the front come through our area until early Wednesday morning and you can easily see the separation of temperatures 60s, 70s and even 50s north of the front exclusively 80s and 90s to the south of it. So uh, that front does eventually make it through here and when it does will coincide with our best chances for showers and thunderstorms. It's going to happen early on Wednesday morning uh, and then we'll start to actually cool off here. Very uh, noticeable cool down considering this is going to be the middle of May and temperatures may stay in the upper 70s for afternoon highs. This is also going to be a decent rain producer one to two inches for a large part of the eastern half of Texas. We're going to be right in that range in the coastal bend too, between about one and two inches on average. Some places out near where those bigger storms are, the watershed could pick up between two and three inches. So we'll have to include that chance for a shower or storm tonight. Uh, we'll have to pay attention to what's happening to the west of us, but by and large Tuesday is going to be similar to today and that'll just be cloudy humid and breezy and then the rain chances start to get a little better into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning as that front slowly moves into the area and then we'll dry by Thursday as the front works to our south. Uh, so this forecast model throws in some thunderstorms out west. If something does get into the western part of our viewing area and K triple I viewing area, the storms or showers will weaken on approach to the Gulf of Mexico. This would happen around midnight tonight and then it'll be quiet into Tuesday for the most part until the chances start to reorganize as this front comes through the area on Wednesday morning. So the weather threats, my opinion, it's going to be heavy rain and lightning that are most frequent. I don't think we really have a severe threat here. Uh, but some of those storms again could become strong. So we'll just have to pay attention to that radar as everything unfolds. Mid to upper 70s tonight, an isolated shower or storm possible. Tomorrow, it'll be mostly cloudy with middle 80s. If you're out on the water, a uh, rip current risk going to be moderate. 82 on the sea surface temperatures and slightly choppy on area bays. Look at those highs on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, upper 70s, low 80s here in the wake of that cold front. An average high is 86, so uh, definitely cooler than average here once we get through with that unsettled Wednesday of weather, Joe.